<sighs> a reprieve from this crazy wind that came out of nowhere. But now we're sitting here and it's like we're all dressed up with nowhere to go. In our case, we're all hooked up and nowhere to go. Wow. <laughs> that, that was an original that should not be bought out again. <laughs> It's a new year and we're chasing new adventures. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. So we made the decision on the weekends to move from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand and sea in our RV. tired of just the typical sandwiches and so this go around I went to Whole Foods to pick up us some bites to eat and I selected wraps still kind of like a sandwich but I think a lot more tastier I did a chicken pesto as you can see yummy 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 and then I picked up Reg let me show you that picked up him a chicken Caesar salad so um, he'll have some time on our next stop to have him a bite to eat but the beauty of being a passenger that you can eat as you roll down the road but it's always a challenge um, I'm curious to see how do you guys plan for your travel day meals what are your alternatives other than a sandwich that really is um, what we always find ourselves our number one go-to but we just get tired of sandwiches and then this is a weekend that we know we're probably going to eat a lot of like sandwich based meals and so just always interested to in seeing how folks uh, manage theirs we also carry a little bit of a cooler here and you know you keep things like sparkling water which we like um and then i always like fresh fruit and so I just keep things handy. Earlier, I chopped up me some apples and had some almond butter. So you're not always just eating terribly and snacking on chips. happy with this yeah so this is where we are for one night they did not have consecutive nights for our entire stay so we decided to just choose a pull through for just one night and then tomorrow we, we, we will be able to move to the site with the signature outdoor fireplace another angle of our view from our overnight site we're on the corner so yes, although not somewhere that I would like to stay ideally for the entire time, but it is a perfect location for just 
one night um, in which we're using it for. And then this is a look at the buckets of firewood that they will deliver to your campsite. And so here we have just the fire ring, but tomorrow we will move to a location that has the actual fireplace. This is site 53. And it, as you can see, it's one of their signature sites with the fireplace. And this is your unobstructed view of the lake. And if you can see, it's a good distance from your neighbor. So this is an example of the sites on the outer ring that really gives you those phenomenal views. And then of course, in the background is the beautiful mountain range of the Smoky Mountains. So this is why RVing is so awesome. A young man named Braden walked up to me and said, hey, I see that you're an LSU fan. And so am I. So I made this rock for you and we're gonna win tonight. So that is awesome. And thank you, Braden. if you ever see this, truly appreciate it. Even though you come from a house full of Alabama fans, we know you got true tiger spirit, brother. Thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> Good morning, Smoky Mountains. The unpredictability of RVing and the difference a few minutes make. A glorious, beautiful, tranquil morning has turned into a windstorm. Let me demonstrate. A reprieve from this crazy wind that came out of nowhere, but now we're sitting here and it's like we're all dressed up with nowhere to go. In our case, we're all hooked up and nowhere to go. Wow. <laughs> that, that was an original that should not be bought out again. <laughs> you know that was pretty good. <laughs> we're sitting in the truck right now due to uh, some high winds here in Tennessee. Uh, we're in Dandridge, Tennessee. Yes. Uh, and we're actually back at ooh, Anchor Down. Me. Anchor Down. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. This is probably 30 mile winds. I don't know. I'll have to check, but this these wind gusts are very, very intense. But it really is not to, to sit in here primarily for the wind. It's because we came in last night and we we're waiting for our site to be ready and of all it seems oh. like 15 20 sites at least they're hooking up around us our um site is not quite ready yet it appears someone needed a late checkout so we were being very productive this morning all set up ready to go all hitched up but now we wait yeah so this is one of those things that being considerate in those unwritten rules of a RV resort and park. Yes, people are very gracious. They're very understanding. And maybe it's just because in this case that I really want to move and settle in and not waste my day waiting on someone else. But that's my rent for the day. But this is why you understand they have checkout times for a reason. Because you never know who's going to come in behind you. So Yeah, I mean, they're checkout was at 11 it's 11 15 hey it so. is 15 minutes people 15 minutes i mean you know we've check-in is until noon hey that has nothing to do with so anything <laughs> you do have kind of an hour grace period um but i'm i'm an individual i'd rather be in position ready to go instead of someone waiting on me because i just don't like being in that position but um hey it happens so we're we're chilling but to prove my point, let me turn the camera around. These are all the empty spots, as you can see. 
They all have people coming in, but they're vacant. All of these RVers got up and hit the road, but we're waiting our on our folks. It's a family. We get it. We understand. It's often that we need an extra 10 or 15 minutes. But right. today I'm in the, uh, the shoes on the other foot. And we will be here, you know, for today's Sunday. We're leaving on Wednesday. So I get it. It cuts into our decorating time. I couldn't decorate last night because we were going to move. Well, this wind probably won't let you decorate either. <laughs> So, I have inside though. So that, you know, have to keep that in consideration. But I wonder. Um, but I mean, they're, they're very cordial. They're riding around, um, restocking the wood and all that stuff. So cleaning out the fireplaces. So we will see. Hopefully, um, next 10 minutes or so. Looks like they're at least uh, hooking up in the fifth wheel. So. So, how otherwise, how was your one night stay in the pull through site? Uh, I, it was cool. We were just definitely on display. We met a lot of people, which, you know, is, is cool. Um, but right in the bend, I don't, what, what site number is this? Do you know? We are in site number, hold on. We are in site 132. So 132 is right on the bend. Um, so you get a lot of traffic and people walk in and, you know, which is cool. You know, you're mm -hmm. able to engage with people, talk to people, um, Meet, met some some really cool people actually um so yeah it's it's been good a lot of a lot of sec fans a lot of a lot of happy uh game cocks today <laughs> a lot of sad clemson folks uh -oh. a lot of sad lsu folks including myself hold on it's okay. nice trip. all right we have action ladies and gentlemen that is the rv we were waiting to vacate the premises mm -hmm. so we can move now all is well with the world all right get these cliff take off okie dokie let's get this adventure going And that's for something too for if you guys are looking to get into somewhere and they may not have consecutive days um, sometimes if you're a little bit flexible and are interested in trading sites you have um, sometimes a few more options and that's exactly uh, was the case with us we came in last night and they didn't have availability here for the our entire stay on one site um, but that also changed when we checked in they did provide us with some options but we came for the signature sites which of course are the fireplaces and so we wanted to make sure that we had that stay so here is the site that we're switching literally it was only a few yards away so let me hop out and help out. That is the sound of the wind. This by far is the second worst wind listen those are the wind gusts this is what 20 to 30 miles an hour wind gust sounds like and feels like in an rv off of water that Thump was actually Reggie putting in uh, his sway bars. But I compare this to when we were in South Carolina for the New Year's that you can see from outside, look how the trees are swaying. And then off in the distance, you can also see how the wind is blowing up um, the, the lake water. And there's some swirl of the sand around as well that... This is a little bit intense. 
not having fun right now. Not having fun.